Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be discussing all things Shell Cordovan, including what it is, how it's made, its history, and some maintenance tips so you can keep your Shell shoes looking great for years to come. What is Shell Cordovan? Most of you probably already know or you wouldn't have clicked on this video, but just in case you don't, it's a particular and very popular type of leather made from a horse. Well, it's technically not a traditional leather like calf, it's not made from horse skin but instead it comes from connective tissues under the skin from a horse's rear end. Thus, it is a non-porous material and has different properties in normal leather. It has an almost glass-like look and is smooth to the touch. It's known most predominantly for not creasing like normal calf skin, but instead it produces signature rolls that can be smoothed out with proper care. Due to its popularity, they sell for much more than regular calf skin shoes do. Expect to pay anywhere from $650 to $1,000 from companies like Allen Edmonds, Alden, Crockett and Jones and Carmina with some very high end models into the two, three thousands even. Don't be fooled. I get a lot of private messages asking me if a particular shoe for sale on eBay is Shell Cordovan. The listing uses the word Cordovan and in many cases, the shoes appear to be Shell to the untrained eye. Be cautious, however. Although I don't think it's malicious or even on purpose, I guess I suppose some do it on purpose, but many sellers will list shoes as Shell Cordovan when they clearly aren't. Since Shell Cordovan comes predominantly in color 8, a beautiful burgundy color, many have supposed that any shoe that is burgundy can be called Cordovan as long as it's the right color. This is untrue, however, as the word Cordovan comes from Cordoba, the birthplace of Shell Cordovan in Spain. It's not a color, it's a material. Make sure the listing says Shell Cordovan, and if you spot traditional creases or micro creases, it's a dead giveaway that you should avoid that pair or you might get tricked. Look for traditional giveaways like these Crockett and Jones bluchers right here. Another reason why Shell is so popular is because it's relatively easy to maintain and it's pretty tough and durable stuff. Many owners report wearing them in the rain and in adverse weather because they don't absorb moisture like calf does, since Shell is by nature non-porous. There are a few drawbacks, however, as Shell is infamous for having low tensile strength, meaning it can tear or rip if it's stretched too quickly and also, vintage or poorly maintained shell can crack when worn. I've had multiple vintage pairs crack when I wore them for the first time since they hadn't been touched in 20 years. Its non-porous nature makes hydrating a dry vintage pair particularly hard. I don't seem to have that same issue with calf no matter how old it is. The great thing about Shell is that for the most part, all it really needs is a good brushing. Spend 20 minutes per shoe just brushing away. I'm not kidding. Be excessive and use a horsehair brush and go to town. You'll quickly see that the natural waxes and oils are fantastic at renewing the shoe's look and producing a really nice shine. This look is not possible to replicate with calf. It's a unique look that many people desire and favor. I spend the next few minutes just brushing and brushing away. So don't be annoyed, but that sound's gonna be something you're gonna hear quite often if you own a pair of Shell Cordovans. So brush away and uh, you'll see the difference. If it's been a while and you'd like to, you can use a soft leather conditioner like Saphir Renovateur or Venetian Shoe Cream and apply it to the vamp of the shoe or other areas. Use way less than you think and don't apply it very often. I'd say once every eight wears minimum. This vintage pair of Floresham Imperials has seen better days, but I still wear them. They are on their way out, unfortunately, but I'll use them until they're totally gone. The vintage shell has begun to crack in certain areas. Apply a tiny bit and continue to brush.
This pair has a beautiful patina. Notice the natural color contrasts all over the shoe. This is another reason why Shell Cordovan is so popular. It looks absolutely amazing. Now, if you'd like to reduce some of the signature rolling on the vamp, you can buy a dedicated deer bone to flatten those areas if you'd like. But I found that using shoe conditioner and a spoon works just as well and is a lot less expensive. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, go ahead and get the deer bone. You're gonna to wanna to make sure the spoon has plenty of conditioner on it, then using downward pressure, just flatten areas with significant rolls on them. Just take your time and be cautious, but use significant pressure. After you're done with that process, just wait a few minutes and start brushing all over again. Remember, brush more than you think. Here are two versions of the same model. One has been worn over 100 times and the other only around 10. I hope you can see how amazing and stunning Shell Cordovan looks after years of use. You will turn heads when you wear a vintage pair that has been well taken care of. This pair of vintage Florsheim Imperials is from 1978. The original owner had only worn them once and decided to get rid of them. I was really lucky to have found them in this condition. They are one of my absolute favorite pairs. The quality of craftsmanship is something else entirely. If you've never owned a vintage pair of Florsham Imperials, you should keep an eye out for a set. They are really amazing shoes. Stay tuned for a future video on these American classics. As you can see, some blemishes can't be removed with simply brushing the shoe. In such cases, use some shoe conditioner and apply it sparingly onto the area you need and then after letting it dry for a few minutes, go to town and start brushing. Continue to brush vigorously and you'll see an improvement pretty quickly. All right, everything looks great. Here's a quick comparison of the darker burgundy slash eggplant shade of color eight and a vintage shade of color four, which is more traditionally red and bright, both produced by the legendary Horween Leather Company based in Chicago. They are the only producers of Shell Cordovan in the Western world, and in my opinion, the absolute best. Shell Cordovan comes predominantly in color eight and black, while other colors like brown, blue, green, and red are not as common and are greatly desired by collectors. It's not uncommon to see a tan or brown pair of Alden long wings go for $1,000 to $1,500 on eBay. Now that the shoes are shined and maintained, I'm going to store them in proper shoe bags until they're worn again. Shoe bags keep dust and debris off of your shoes and can even protect pairs from falling hangers or accidental drops on hard corners better than a naked shoe can. Trust me, I know from experience. Protect your investment and enjoy your pair of Shell Cordovan shoes. Uh, I do understand that not all people like Shell and that's totally okay. I, uh, I found that you either hate Shell Cordovan or you worship it with religious fervor. I guess there's no in between. There are many people who collect Shell Cordovan. You can find them on Instagram. They're everywhere from the US to Europe to Japan. There's a bunch of guys who own Shell Cordovan and wear them with pride. Thanks again for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. As always, look for me on Instagram and Facebook at The Elegant Oxford. See you next time.